Senpai, <laughs> please. <laughs> What is up guys, it's your boy Sart here, um, a lot of you have been requesting this tutorial for quite a while now, it's been, uh, I haven't really been grinding a lot lately but now I'm gonna start focusing more here now, so I'll be releasing more and more tutorials as I can, so just please let me know in the comments below if you need anything else, so um, as of now I'm gonna be starting with the whole 3D concept thing so usually people um do their 3d text or logos in cinema 4d now the people um who actually can't um who don't have devices that actually support cinema 4d itself which is why um i'm going to be showing how you can do it in photoshop and it's going to be it's i wouldn't say it looks the best but it's probably the next best alternative you have and you can actually make it look pretty clean if you actually put the effort into it so this is just gonna be a small video i'm just gonna show how you can do 3d text um and in the later on tutorial videos i'll be showing how you can mess around with the colors and things and just make it look better instead of just being a plain text so let's just start over here i have um it's just plain text right here so um i'm currently using jack silver the fonts jack silver and um so all you have to do is just double tap on it and right here right here there's an option that says 3d but before before you do that if you, if you just press 3d it's gonna be a plain um it's just gonna be a plain text which you can't really mess around much with it's gonna look really boring and drab so um what i recommend is you you, you have an option right here uh um, wait let me see so this is th this is called wrap text you just click on it and uh my most preferable ones are either the arc but i wait one second uh where you either do this or you can um, even go for flag or you could even go for bulge um, it's all up to you um, it depends on what kind of what kind of text you want to do uh, but I mostly use bulge arc and flag so um, I'd go with those but just for this video um i'll be trying something new out here um so this is how i've wrapped my text currently and um uh, just, just what it looks like now now i'm going to click on this option which says 3d right here you could you could do you could do um that or you could just actually never mind uh that only works with 3d logos uh but yeah it says create 3d from uh, from text you just click on that and you just wait a bit um obviously um my laptop isn't that great so it's gonna take some time but if you have a great pc or a really like um a good process and stuff it won't take much time um you see you have the environment you have seen your views your lighting your material there's so much you can do with this um especially if you don't um, have cinema 4d there's still a lot you could do in this instead of doing cinema 4d so we have five different tools here now this tool the one that i that i have at the moment um is for rotating the text so it could be this way or this way it, it's it's up to what you want and um we have this this is just for rotating it um and we have And then we have this tool which this this is just technically for moving the text without actually doing anything on the grid because there's, there's actually times where you move the grid itself which actually ruins the text it's something that you should be doing i don't honestly use this tool at all i've never used it um and this the final tool is for resizing it so you can make it big and make it small um but yeah that's that um so preferably um, a lot of the designers, really good ones, um, they usually keep their text crazy. Now I'll I'll explain that in another video, but um, 
I'm just gonna do that. I'll just show how you can do that here. So um, also, you need to keep look. You need to keep a look at the extrusion tab. You don't want it too big. You don't want it too small. You want a proper moderate size. I'd say that that that's enough. Uh, it's still a bit too much. Let me just reduce it a bit. Okay, yeah, that that's that, that looks better. So um, well, this this is where it is. Um, all these. Uh, so usually you, I work only with these three. Uh, I don't use either of these uh, because most of the coloring happens on this. I used to use this for coloring the text, but I don't use it anymore. I'll explain how what, what I do now in another video um, sooner or later. But for now, I'll just explain. Uh, so you you do control and you select all three, and um, you make it gray. Oh uh, wait, let's see. Um, Yeah, uh, yeah, that's the gray you need. Um, it's like a really, really light shade of gray. Uh, um, other than that, um, if you if you don't, you can another thing that you can do is, ink. So there's a lot of things you can do with the material here. Um, now, if you want to make it look more metallic, you just increase the me metallic uh, percentage here. You can increase glow. You can increase roughness. There's multiple options out here. You don't need Cinema 4D at all for making 3D text. I I honestly would recommend this. Um, I mean, it does. It's time consuming compared to Cinema 4D, but it is definitely worth it. Personally, I really enjoy this. This is. This, I I used to complain about how I didn't have Cinema 4D, but now I don't even regret it anymore. Um, now we have lighting so um let's start with lighting so you have you can this is just a regular light you can remove this um it, it, this this light is just for the overall text itself but uh you have different types of lighting in this um let's see we have we have spotlight which is specifically which points at one particular area, area. we have the point light which just brings light at one point of the text or wherever you want it to be uh, I mean technically it is for the 3D text and then you have the infinite light which um, applies for the entire text as a whole so uh, well uh, that's that now this is what your text is going to look like 3D now don't worry this is not the end um, I'll make sure to drop part 2 for this explaining how I make my um, 3D panels the colors and everything it's all going to be in there um, for that I, I just want to check if I covered everything uh, regarding the glow and also another thing that you have here is the materials you have different sort a lot of materials it's not much compared to um, cinema 4d you have a lot of materials in cinema 4d but the ones you basically need to work with while making a banner or anything of such sort including social brand that gets included in social branding you, you have all of it in here you do not need cinema 4d and uh, one another cool feature about this is that you can so basically um let's see you can go to new texture so you can, now here's what i'm going to show you you can do load texture um it's and um okay for now i'm going to do project resources background uh i'm just going to go with one random background apply great uh well anyways you could do that too uh my i don't know why my laptop isn't performing that well at the moment but um well if you go onto the environment and this only works when you um have your metallic percentage at 100 percent so when you bring this to uh 100 percent um your your extrusion itself becomes an entire metal as a whole and um like you can see reflections here okay yeah, i applied so at right now you can't really see much of it but uh, if i go to the back you can see the purple from the from the um, background is selected 
obviously this is not i don't recommend using this because it doesn't really look that well it used to look good but now it doesn't but like i said when you increase the mid you can there's so much more you can do with this so um let's see we have as you can see we increase when we increase the metallic percentage it makes the entire text looks look like a metal uh, you can look at that right there um yeah um so that was it for this video um i'll drop the i'll be dropping the um the colors the video including the colors and how you can make plain 3d text look better in another video but for now this is it hope you guys um understood how i do it um if this did, if this helped you at all please make sure to drop a like um subscribe and turn personalities on so you guys are notified about my next videos um and that's it peace out